Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's episode, we are going to work on a rocker wooden model Curious Discovery solar system. So when I first saw this, I actually thought it may look kind of cool because you know it actually turns and the planets rotate around and everything. But now that I've got it open and have all the parts out, this one I'm kind of worried a little bit because there's definitely a lot of parts and a lot of other things that I haven't worked with before in a wooden model, which I'll show you here in a second. But if I do this correctly, this actually should look pretty cool. So it should be interesting, a little challenging, but hey, that's, that's why we do this, right? So first I'll show you all the, the boards that came with it. So as you can see, there's like seven boards and they're huge. And it's mostly gears and some round pieces. So uh, there's definitely a lot of parts to this and different levels to get everything uh, moving the way it's supposed to. So that's not gonna be too fun, but, uh, but that also means there's gonna be a lot of waxing uh, these gears and, and trying them out at, for each step to make sure that they move correctly. Making sure they're going the right, the right direction. And then up here, you see some of the tools and screws and bars or some metal bars that come with it. It actually comes with a screwdriver to help you out and everything. There's some plastic tubing. There's the, the LED light uh, wire that you're going to hook up. And there's the motor that you're going to use to turn some other washers and some other screws. And then here's all the other sizes of other screws that you're going to be putting in and everything and washers and, and whatnot. So uh, definitely a little challenging. And it actually comes with two different sanding pads. So I kind of like this one because it's a little smaller that you can get into the smaller pieces or smaller areas a little easier. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see. And then uh, these right here are the planets that you'll be putting on and everything. So, uh, so that'll be, uh, hopefully the, you know, the last part of the, uh, the step at the very end, just so you don't damage them or anything like that. And of course we got our, our instruction guide, but, uh, as always, if you like what I do, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and get more content out to you. So with that, let's get started. Hi everyone, so we're getting started on our solar system here. So I already got the pieces out. Um, one good thing with our little uh, tool that comes with it is it's got the little measurements on it so you can measure the distance of the, uh, the steel rods that you need. So this side is millimeters, this side is inches. So you can measure the distance of them just so you know you have the right piece and everything and then this will be helpful on some other steps and everything but got all the pieces out i waxed everything for uh, this piece i did the top and the bottom and of course the gears did inside there and also did the bottom part of here because it's going to be laying on top of this right here so now Looks like, get these little washers. So you can always stick them on, turn it over, and then push it all the way down. That way you know it's flush with the bottom. And then stick it through, like so. Okay, now with the arrow. This goes down into here, and now, Get it. Oops. Just flip it over, make sure it's flat. And then push these down. To where these are flush. There we go. Okay, not too flush, but Close enough. Okay. 
Okay, so what it says in the instructions to flatten the uh, the spacers on both ends to make sure that they're flat. I think it's maybe just to create a little bit of space in between. So it's a uh, so it, there's no friction that spin spins freely and everything. So just so it's not too tight or anything like that. So. So we'll go with that and uh, see what happens. Okay, so we're on the next step. And then we're actually gonna be putting the motor on. Got everything out. I don't think nothing requires any wax or anything. So we'll see what we have. And this is the first step that we actually get to put some screws in. This is the first uh, model that's had this. It's nice that they actually included the little screwdriver along with it. So I wouldn't go all the way down with, into the hole. I would just get it just so it doesn't go anywhere and then that way the other holes line up a little bit better with it. you to take the cord, run it through here, and then we're going to be taking these two pieces, looks like you're just stacking them on top, and just put them in here. Just making sure those the holes of the pieces line up. Just push them in. Do the same for the other side. In there, and just push it in. Okay. There we go. There's that on there. We'll see what we see what we got next. All right, so we're on the next step. Got all the pieces out. Um, something I didn't mention before is, you know, I went ahead and just sanded all the little edging, the little residual pieces that holds the individual pieces to the bigger sheets and everything. So I always will do that before filming just to save a little bit of time and everything. And something I kind of noticed that kind of helps is they actually put the, the number of the piece on the piece. So it kind of helps you know what it is and everything so all right so now it looks like it wants us to this right here and then the screws going down into the hole as you, you say you know just a hand tight because you don't want to over crank it and may damage the wood and everything so and I mean I'm sure it's not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna uh, okay so they want you to run the cord through this right here have it go down and then have it go somewhere, somewhere over here. There's really nothing for it to attach it to, but it's just kind of what it says. Just somewhere over there, so. Just kind of pulling it tight just to make sure it's over as far as it'll go. And then, this is the LED light that we're going to be using. So they want you to connect it, making sure that it goes together correctly, which there is only one way this goes together. Okay. And then this is going to eventually go up through here. So now, 
There's a little, a little groove right there. There's uh, plenty of space for it to fit through. And then just push it down through. because it's in that so it's actually not too bad and then this will go to the top up here and it looks like you are going to be laying it flat okay laying it flat but you're going to want it to go inside here and then it'll come out it's with the little little hole right there is for. So I lay flat and then this will run down the bottom. We'll just pull this tight just so it doesn't get out. Okay. Then get this that goes over here. Okay, so that's pretty much how tall. <laughs> so this is pretty much how tall it's going to be, because this is going to this is going to light up the sun, and the sun's going to be on top. So this is the the height of the solar system and everything. So okay, so the next step. Let's put these little in so they don't go anywhere. You can either use your use your finger or it says you can use the tool here to push it in so you don't uh, kill it too much. Okay, so that piece won't go anywhere. Now, six, seven, And in the instructions it says to make sure there's a triangle and a circle on either side. You just got to make sure that the triangles match on, uh, on either side. Make sure the triangles on, are on the same side and the circles are on the same side. Now, so now, Cause you got the triangles here so you got triangles here and there's circles back here so that also kind of helps to know which one it's going in and you're just kind of putting them in as you're going around here and then but i 
or maybe not. They're diff it's definitely not tight, it's just... Okay, so now, underneath, I just want to make sure the cord is in the groove. Flat, and I'm saying to pull this to where this is through, but I don't know if I can uh, have this go all the way through or not. Oh, there was some extra. Okay, there we go. There was some extra little cord in there. I must have got a cut. Okay, there we go. Sure, it's all on there. Okay, uh, just something I've noticed as I was getting these other pieces out in the uh, instructions that always give you the P number for each of the steps, and each bag has a P number above it to kind of associate it, so you know which which item to pull out for the screws and the nuts and everything. But if you see a P number that you don't recognize on the bag, it's probably going to be in this bigger bag that's got like a mishmash of all kinds of pieces and everything in it. So if you're having trouble trying to find a specific piece, a screw nut or something, it's probably going to be in this bag here because two of the nuts for this piece, or for this step, was in this bag that I just had to kind of look for just to make sure it was the right one and everything. So. That's just something to just kind of keep an eye on if you uh, don't see the P number for that specific bag or anything like that. So um, they try not to make it too hard, but it uh, can get confusing sometimes. Okay, so what we're going to do is this on top of this. Now let's see here. This is going to go through here. And then this is going to go This is going to go through here And it's saying you can use, uh, as you're holding this to screw it in to the nut, you can use your little tool piece here, and it's got a little cutout right there for the nuts. That way it'll hold it as you're putting the screw in to ensure it's getting tight. See if it'll go in anymore. Yeah, it's not gonna go anymore, so. Okay, so it's tight. This goes back and forth, so this will just be the handle that you're gonna use and for to turn the solar system and everything. Okay, so we got the next pieces out. I'm just building more on the on the handle. So it looks like these two metal rods are gonna be the main pieces holding everything together. So what I'm gonna do is insert them in toward the bottom. And then slide all of these down.
get through all of them. And then put this in. That. And then another one. I guess I can turn it around, don't matter. And then and then push push them all the way through. And then use this middle and then this goes goes all the way through. Okay, I got the next pieces out. Continuation of our little crank. So I believe what I'm going to do is leave everything right here and then with this just slide it on. Everything should just slide right on. Hopefully. And this goes right over top. square nut that fits right into the hole there just kind of push it down so the so the wood piece locks it in and then screw it from this side and that way the screw will continue all the way in until it is tight and they're hand tight so that way it brings it down pretty much gets everything together there and then after that, then... Okay, so I think we got the last couple pieces for this part. So... Just kind of... This off here. And we have this. This here. This piece right here it doesn't say to, but it doesn't hurt. Put some extra on there. Yeah, not too tight, but just as long as it's not going anywhere. Okay. There we go. <laughs> this piece ain't staying too, too well, but once we uh, put it into the main piece, it should be, should be good. Let's 
Okay. So it's saying to put this piece in first so it aligns. So then the other pieces will go in a little easier. And then it also states to kind of push these out to help get the piece in. Because, yeah, these will go in like right here and then right here. This will go down here in the front. I can get it to there we go. Like that and then trying to oh there we go. Line this up here. Okay, there's a, right here, there's two pieces that are going into the holes right here, plastic pieces that'll slide in once you push it down. But you gotta line it up first. And then, You gotta get these front ones in. Man, this is hard. There we go. Oh, and it just slides right on down once you line up the holes. And once you push it down, then boom, the plastic piece locks into the wooden piece. Pushing this down a little bit, and then there we go. Once you bent these out, then these will actually fit in a little better. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure this is all down. little end pieces in on the corners right here there we go kind of lock it in so trying to get these the little uh, the little piece to slide in right there and then you get the wheels on the side there so and then and that's locked in right there so so right now you can see it's turning Don't know yet how it's gonna affect it, but oh, can you see that as you turn it, the light up top actually lights. Here, let me put it down here for a second. So as you turn it, the light on top. As you turn it, the light on top lights up. So you definitely want to make sure that that works. That shows you got everything hooked together. So right now it's just top heavy since I put everything, locked everything over here. So until we get some more pieces over here to lock them in, they're gonna it's gonna be a little top heavy. 
Okay, so we've got our next piece of stuff out, set up for our next step. So, looks like we're going to be building some walls to go around the base here. Looks like this one. It goes kind of do the same thing that you did with the other ones. You spread these apart and then put them down in little holes right there. Push them down and then they should go into the little side pieces right here. Just like that. And then you just do that for the rest of them. There we go. That's and that's done. Okay. So we got all those centered down. Turning the still lights. Okay, on the next step. Okay, so next up, we're just throwing all these little side pieces here. I guess it's kind of more decoration than anything. Could be locking the piece in or something, I don't know, but just putting these along the side here. So we got our next pieces out. I already did a couple of the, the wheels there, so just because just doing the same stuff three times. So just inserting this, this one, they want one side to be completely flat. And I'm just inserting it into there and then turning it over. And then putting that on. And if, you, if it's loose enough, you can use your fingernails just to push it on down. But you want it to be even on one side, but, and then have the, uh, the rod sticking out on the, on the other. Okay, so now what we are doing is, which is probably better just to do one at a time. Okay, so F4, F11, F4. You want to make sure the arrow is pointing to the middle. It is pointing toward the middle of the uh, of the disc. That was what you wanted to do, just so the holes are lining up. I believe. So for these other threes, they want the little gear. And the hole should be big enough for the one to go in, right into. And then this will go into the hole right here. So, just like that. And then make sure the arrow is in. And then, shut together. OK, 
Okay. So before you go any further, you want to make sure that the this first piece has the has the groove facing out on all of them, and that the arrows are all pointing in on this other one. Before moving on, because it looks like we're going to be adding some other pieces. All right, so we got our next pieces. I already did the first three because it was the, it's the exact same build for all four pieces. So we're just adding on to the bottom down here, just kind of giving it more decoration. And then I have the feeling these are going to be the feet and everything. So to start with, I should put the peg in the hole here, and then I put the number on the bottom so you don't see it and push that in and then this has got to be the pegs got to be flush and everything so I just used a little tool to push down on it so it'll go all the way down and then you just put it with it out and then make sure on this one that the arrow is facing down with the circles on the outside and then just push that in and there you go. And then all four sides have it. And then now, now we get these little uh, rubber holder or feet or whatever to ensure it doesn't, uh, you know, slip on anything or whatever. It's just a. Give us a couple extra just in case. Okay, there we go. So now, okay, so got everything situated. So on to the next step. All right, it looks like we're gonna be putting on the sides around the solar system, so. See these uh, kind of pieces, they just slide, slide down. So, it's kind of cool to bend them like that. Shouldn't matter, top or bottom, it's exactly the same. Oh, I gotta make sure to put the top part on. see the number I've been trying to do that where if it's a number on the outside or something I've been trying to not uh, not have a show on the outside just so you don't see it because it shouldn't matter either way it's the same same style Here we go. 
this just kind of slides in. So the, it's not actually uh, too tight for these to go in, but I think there's going to be something else we're going to be putting on top that'll hold everything together. There we go. And then in the back. Like, so we're going to be putting this top piece on. It's all, all, either all sides are exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter which way you do it. So we're going to be entering, putting it down to put on top of all these right here. So you just got to be careful putting it down to make sure that. Uh, and then also on the on these right here, they're going to go into as well. So, you definitely gotta make sure everything is lined up properly. There we go. And then just slowly push your way down. Work your way around till you get all the sides down all the way. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. And just make sure the light lights up, and make sure this is turning pretty good. Okay, so I got the next pieces out, and it looks like the next four steps is almost going to include ex almost the same type of pieces, just different sizes and everything. But uh, it looks like they're almost going to be the exact same build. It looks like we're going to be building a set of gears each step. So I'll probably just run through those real quick, have everything ready like normal, and then just, just put them all together. So... Okay, so here, it looks like... <laughs> There's really no difference. Yep, okay. So from here, you got 20. Okay, so, so we're going to be doing like three more sets of these, just different size gears, it looks like, going forward, so, so we'll see what we got. Okay, so we're continuing on our build.
so there's the next gear. It's got the little letters on each gear. So this one's got the I. This is the J, so I think it's they're doing that just so you can identify each gear. As you're putting them together and everything. So Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so we're at the next gear that we're trying to build. This will be number K here, letter K. Yeah, 12 to 11. So pretty much built the same as the other, the first two. Okay, working on our next one. Twelve to thirteen. Looks like all the rest. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna be putting the gears in. This one on top. Looks like it's gonna go into the holes down here. It's J, K is back here. That's a bigger one. Big eye. In the back. Little eye. Goes right here. Connect to that. in.
line, but... circles on the top of the gears are going in. Those are lined up and then holding this, push this in. these gears in place so they don't move around or whatever so I have a feeling we'll be doing two more gears here and then another piece will go here potentially to hold these in place or one on one who knows we'll see but it's coming along okay so on to our next couple uh, gears sets to fill in those last couple holes that we had that one Kendall. Okay, so there's these two pieces. And now, bringing this over here. And pretty much what I found out is all these gears are each of the planets when they turn. Because they all turn at different, uh, different speeds as you're turning the gear which i will show you here in a second so it looks like they want me to put this one in first oh whoops i was wondering why it wasn't going in okay so this one in first you're putting it in make sure it locks into the, the teeth are locking in there and then this one goes in there locking into there so you have the arrow so you have the arrow pointing toward the handle so slide down you have these little notches right here that this is gonna slide down on. You just gotta work a couple at a time. And little grooves right here will 
slide down into there. you have that in then you turn making sure it turns smoother and the light lights up but if you look at the if you look at these turning they're all turning at different speeds so that's why I'm thinking these are gonna somehow these are gonna somehow work with the planets and everything and their, and their rotation, so so not too bad getting there. And I would definitely test the handle every time you put a, a certain step in, just to make sure everything's running smoothly. Okay, so we got the next pieces out. Looks like we got these little uh, stoppers that go in just around the edges. These may be just for decoration, but may serve some other purpose. I don't know, but. is going to connect to something else as you're turning. And then E2. This is a little taller. So, and then this right there. So just making sure that you turn. Okay. On the next one. Okay, so we got our next pieces. You got this little ring right here. You gotta make sure the holes line up the holes down here. Because if you just try to line up any certain way, the holes aren't gonna line up exactly. So you just need to make sure that the holes are lined up with the holes on this bottom piece right here. And then you just take these little pieces right here and you're just jabbing them down in the hole. Make sure that it holds. Making sure the uh, outer piece is facing out. And I think there's just more decoration than anything else and, and just to hold the ring in place and be other things to slide inside of it because it wanted you to wax the inside of the ring it wanted you to wax inside the ring here so we'll see okay so next up just put <clears throat> some more some more decorative pieces around so it wants to say what type of order to put them in it's just uh, just put them perpendicular to the this top piece is going to be uh, going in okay and then here just going to curl it and put it down into the groove here
that, and then do it the same from here. And then okay. And then <clears throat> just line up the pieces. this I just want you to test it just to make sure everything's turning good so so far so good okay got our next pieces in I think we're getting ready to start building each layer that the the planets each of the planets are on so I think probably building them all and then stacking them up but we'll see start with so you want to have two of the washers down at the bottom two and then Then have this part go through, and then and then two more washers. Oh, that's just to hold it in so it doesn't. Or anything. And then I want you to put this little cover plastic piece on, and then it'll go inside the planet here. With these, there's triangles on one side and then circles on the other. And you want to make sure that if it's got like a little line through it, that's the face of the outside. But they want you to make sure a circle in connects with the, or a triangle in connects with a circle end. Which I'll show you once I get this one in. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you just gotta stretch it a little bit to get it to fit but then you want the circle end connect with the triangle end You just wanted to at least make sure it's straight because you're going to connect it with this up here. And then you got the circle outside, outside, and then okay. So now you got that together, it doesn't really matter how it goes on as long as it goes on. Let's see. 
say once you get a kind of a corner going and just work your way around and hopefully it won't break it or nothing surface to make sure it's down all the way there we go so you just don't want really you don't want the teeth showing above or below so you just have to just kind of mess with it Okay, so we're on our next planet level. So I went ahead and did this one. This was exactly the same way to put it together as the last one, so I just went ahead and did that one. And you just went ahead and put these in, these little holders going around. These go into little holes that's got little circles around it. So you just gotta make sure those are in there. And then just match this up to each of the holes. That's what you're doing. It states that you can put these into the top part first uh, before putting them into the bottom, but I don't really see a need to do that. It's just your preference. Because there's not much that goes into the top piece here. Just pushing all these down. Just the more decorative pieces that you're putting in. Okay. So that's it for that one. So they're really not too much involved with it, but since this has got the grooves down here, so it wants you to wax the inside and sand the wax the outside. So I have a feeling this is going to be rotating on the, one of the other ones down on the bottom. So, but we'll see. Okay, so on our next step, got everything out. Got these, got these screws. clear tube that's gonna go right in the middle there and just gotta line the screws up Okay, so I have a feeling we're we'll gonna be putting all these other steps all together, building this out and everything. So that's just the start of it.
No, the F ones. Okay. Building it up. Okay, so on to our next step here. So now it looks like we're getting our second tier here. Put in this on. Like so. So we're continuing this build. So we've got the next level up. Already did the planet again, just like before. So it looks like this is first. It goes under there. planets this is going to go on there but uh, I won't put it on now until after this gets on because this isn't really secured too well so just so it doesn't break or anything and then there's these little screws here If you have some small pliers or something, you could use them to tighten them down. Because I don't think a little tool piece is going to be able to fit. But yeah, the tube is still going to rise and fall and everything, but it's pretty much just holding all the pieces together, making sure they aren't. Okay, so we're on the next step. It talked about, uh, I put this one ring on here, G4. And it said that if, uh, once you put the nuts on, if the screw was too high then to go back a step and replace one of the c8s with an f1 which is a little thicker piece just to raise it up because they don't want the screws to run past this ring right here so i went ahead and did that and i already put two of the pegs in the holes just to secure it so i'm just 
put this last one in and I'm just using this to, uh, to push it down with to secure it. And then what I want you to do is just holding the ring here. Just do the same underneath. With G6 is until you get the first one in, it might be a little pain in the butt. There we go. You just got to be careful not to push too hard. to push on anything other than the main the main piece right here because that's where all the weight is on not trying to push on anything else but you're just pushing that down to where it's smooth or somewhat smooth and then after that then you can Screws, turn the screws until they're level with the top piece. I don't think they need to be too tight. It's not going to go anywhere. So, just where it's level, it's not sticking up or anything. Okay, so I've got a mix pieces out. That's not going to be. some more screws in. So I'm just going to put these in. Probably be in like another layer like we did the uh, the previous one. Get the, tube, get the little tube, a little smaller tube this time. So and I already did the, the globe just like before. There's nothing really changed with it, just the size and a few other things. Small screws out or whatever. Got a ratchet in it. Turn on it. Or just try to get it to lock on so it just fits. Or turn it with your finger just so that it's on there. Because what you're trying to do is just lock it down. Nothing too tight. You just get it right down in there just to. Cut the screws in so you can turn it to the bottom. just like you did before, screw in the piece and just make sure it doesn't go all the way through to the 
top, which is not going to make it well. But just where it's tight. Okay, so we finished all of our planets levels. All the builds were pretty much exactly the same. It's just a little different heights, different planets, but they were all exactly the same as that first build um, that we did with the, with the planet and stuff. So now it looks like we're doing like some spacers. I don't know, there's like three sets of these right here. Each one looks a little different, but kind of the same shape, but the sides, builds are exactly the same so I'm just gonna film one of it and then the other two I'll just put together so it's just pretty much putting gears underneath it and above it and it'll go kind of on top of it like that so we will see what we can do doing it twice so you can either do one side at the same or do one side complete or just do both sides at the same time as you're working your way across the longest part was just sanding everything it just took forever okay looks like we're putting these on top Inside the groove here. Just getting that in there. Okay. And then it wants these little blocks it's got arrows on them so you know what be better to put these on before you put them in Okay, making sure those are in. Okay, and then you get two sets of washers. Okay, so these will be turning. 
somehow, some shape, form, or whatever. So. So, alright. So there's two more of those you gotta do, but like I said, it's the exact same build. It's just the metal part's just a little different. So I'll get those done and then we'll continue on. So I believe we got our planet levels done and I got our little spacer spacers done and everything. So now the only part left is to actually put it all together. So you wanna make sure that the handle here is facing up. Because that's what it tells you to do. And then you just go with each part making sure the tube inside here doesn't fall through and then there's a, like a little spacer that you uh, put in over to the top of this right here slides all the way down you just take the plastic off of it and then just let the tube fall all the way down to it locks in whatever one of the gears here to oh, there we go we we'll take the gears to make sure it locks it down still doesn't look like it's in good though Push the end down. So you just gotta make sure the two gears here, make sure the two gears here are lined up good. Teeth are in there and then just go around and pushing it inside here, making sure it's level. So we got that piece on. Now we're looking for X. Now we're looking for this spacer here. So make sure this turn we're good. And with these lines facing up, with this handle, with this handle facing up, you wanna make sure that this goes, uh, lies lined up right with it. sure it's perpendicular to this one make sure the lines are facing up just make sure they lock in to that gear okay and then perpendicular from the last one put that in and then get the big disc and then the cylinder and just make sure those are engaged make sure the cylinder goes all the way down <laughs> okay. 
Okay. And part number one, this was just the half one. It was built the same way. And you want the bigger gear to face up. And this looks like it goes right here. Just make sure it's locked into there. And then on this last piece, you had a couple pieces with the sun. You just had this little ring and this little other star piece. You just put them together with some pegs. And with this, you just have this go down and lock it in like so. And with that, it says it's done, so I guess we'll, we'll see. takes a little bit to get going here. There we go. Now, as you can see, the planets are moving at different speeds as they're going around. But I may have to go in and uh, work on the uh, gears on the bottom because those are the ones that are handling these. Just kind of turn a little easier. There we go. And you got the sun lit up at the top. We're just going around. So, but... There you go. Oh man. So just like with any of the other wooden models, it just takes a little bit for the uh, the gears to get going. Uh, even though you put wax on it or uh, whatever you put on it, it still takes a little bit once they sit, start uh, connecting and going against each other. It uh, just takes a little bit for the wax to connect and to get it uh, moving pretty, pretty good and everything. So. Um, just kind of have to work with it, or if nothing else, if you've got some silicone spray, um, you can uh, spray some of that on some of the gears that may actually uh, get it to move a little bit better, but it has some decorations on the, on the side. You know, the other sides look exactly the same, really nothing different about it or anything. So. But the gears on the bottom, these here on the bottom are just for decorations. They don't do anything. But if you go up, you see all the gears going inside of it and everything. So, and then uh, you have that light and, and the LED inside. Once you turn it, it causes that friction to get the light, light going and everything. So, but, so, um, so it's actually not too bad though. So it was actually a pretty fun build. So I actually enjoyed it. So it's kind of fun to, you know, have the kids play with and everything. So, but, uh, but that's it for our wooden model solar system. All in all though, it was, wasn't too bad. So, but uh, with that, uh, I appreciate you watching and see you next episode.